Hey everyone, Dr. Alex here. Thanks for tuning in to another live video. So today we're going to go over uh, a couple of uh, ergonomic cues and a couple of postural cues that you can do to reduce the strain on those joints underneath your shoulder blade, which are the costal vertebral, the rib joints. If you've ever had that pain with breathing, with taking a deep breath or that pain just beside the spine or underneath the shoulder blade, that is usually related to those rib joints and the muscles and the nerve tissues around it. We've got a few videos, which I have linked below that will help you identify those issues and help you either correct or uh, prevent them with some of the exercises we talk about. But this video was a request from a follower, so why not? I'll make it. So uh, a couple of main postural cues. So the big thing that's going to aggravate these costal vertebral rib joints typically is a sustained forward posture where we have the head forward or some rounding through the spine. And so this sustained position is going to uh, protract or bring the shoulder blades around the spine and going to round the spine out so that you kind of, instead of having a divot in the spine here between the shoulder blades, it's going to round it out and make it smooth. So sustained position in that posture is going to aggravate those rib joints. We want to avoid that. So the cue that I will give people is either A, if they're seated, make sure that the shoulder blades are touching the chair, or if you're not seated, or if you're standing, or if you want an extra cue, it's to try to put your shoulder blades into your back pocket. So it's the opposite of bringing the shoulders forward. It's bringing your shoulders back and trying to pinch them against the spine and bring them a little bit downward, like you're trying to push them into your back pocket. Now, this, this can sometimes be difficult for patients to uh, do without some touch cues, so it's a little bit difficult to do via YouTube. Um, but if you put a finger here, lower, uh, uh, just above the same height as your belly button, and you work on bringing your shoulder down and towards that finger, that will probably help with that postural cue of the shoulders back and down, which will get your spine more stacked up and reduce the strain on those rib joints. Also, if you have your back against the chair, it's going to do that for you too. But that back and down position of the shoulder blades, very important to remember. Number two is we know that with these joints, they're going to be typically more stressed if the nerves that leave the neck here that go down along the shoulder blade, if they are irritated, then they are going to make the rib joints more sensitized or more likely to feel pain and have problems. So a double chin or that chin tuck where you produce a nice fat chin there, that's going to help to get the spine in a stacked up position. And if you notice that you're having a lot of rib joint issues, if you can really practice these chin tucks where you hold for 10 seconds at a time, throughout the day that will help to reduce strain on these scaling muscles. When you're doing this exercise, this muscle should actually be really soft. You might feel a little bit of strain at the base of the skull from stretching the suboccipitals, but the majority of this action is by muscles deep in front of the spine. So you shouldn't feel too much strain in your neck because these muscles are right on top of the spinal cord. And by spinal cord, I mean spine. So you'll notice when I do this that my eyes, if I had laser beams coming out of them, they stay nice and level. The biggest mistake that patients make is this, where they bring their head back and they look up to the ceiling. You wanna make sure nice and level, eyes are level looking outward. So that chin tuck and that anti-rounding of the spine, that shoulder blades back and down, those are two cues that you can do, use to reduce strain on the rib joints uh, and on those costal vertebral joints and, and the tissues around them. Uh, uh, probably the perfect example of when we see this the most, or one of the times we see this most, is with pregnant women and with nursing, or with dads for that matter, where they cup their baby. So you not only have the shoulder blade forward, but you often, with nursing, have a kid here, your spine is rounded forward, and it's a real perfect storm for creating issues uh, through those rib joints underneath the shoulder blade. We see that a lot in with new moms 
and sometimes with new dads, but definitely with more moms. And that should serve as a point of why we want to avoid that position. Obviously, these two points are something we talk a lot about in the office and these cues um, are really tough to base on, on research because there's just frankly not a lot of research on these topics. So sometimes you just have to go with what works in the office and these two things do work. They might not work if the problem with your spine is so significant that it needs some uh, corrective care to actually desensitize it, make the spine healthier, get the joints working properly. But in terms of prevention and helping to minimize an existing issue, if you're working with somebody or maybe even help to correct it yourself, these are two musts in my mind. On that note, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you like the new do. And if you have a request of your own, something that you want me to cover, leave it on a comment below and I'd be happy to do it. Otherwise, guys, I'm signing off. You have a great summer's day. Take care.